Hello and welcome to this video of uh, building a PC for 120 pounds or less. I will mainly be upgrading some hardware of an existing PC to keep our total cost within 120 pounds. And because it's going to be a low budget gaming PC, so we need to see some examples of low spec games that will actually work on this computer. And here you see some game examples. We have Euro Truck Simulator 2, Spin Tires, Batman Arkham Origins and Resident Evil 6. For a satisfactory gaming experience, you need Windows 7 or higher, which is Windows 8 or Windows 10, all in the 64-bit version. And the CPU should be a quad-core, 2.5 gig speed. Recommended RAM is 4 GB and a dedicated graphics card with 1 GB of RAM. Also up to 20 GB free space on the hard drive is recommended. And now on the next screen here you see a little more demanding games for which I have listed uh, their minimum requirements in order to play the games. And again Windows 7 is a must and a quad core CPU. For the RAM we need 6 GB and the graphics card again 1 GB of RAM and uh, 30 GB free space on the hard drive. Okay the screenshot you see here is showing the specs of the computer that we will be upgrading. It has Windows 10 installed, uh, comes with a quad-core CPU, Q8300, uh, has 4GB of RAM and uh, the graphics card is an ATI Radeon HD3450 with 256MB of RAM. Um, the 1903MB of RAM that is showing here is shared memory, but we need a graphics card with its own memory, minimum of 1GB. Now let's get started with purchasing our PC and hardware. Let's check on the average price of a quad-core desktop PC online. Uh, the Q8300 is the same CPU I have, so let's see how much it will cost. We check for the lowest price and buy it now. And we see here, starting at £69, there's another one for £80, one for £90. So this is about the average price. All of these have 4GB of RAM and uh, the one for £80, 500GB hard drive, this is pretty good and uh, the next one is 320 gigabytes hard drive so average price is about 80 pounds or 90 pounds you would spend on the pc and the next thing we need is the memory you see here i have purchased four gigabytes of memory for 1498 so that's about 15 pounds and now one more piece of hardware we need is the graphics card and uh, here's one that i purchased for 15 pounds HSD Force GT220, 1 GB of RAM. This card has a DVI and HDMI port. Now it's time to install our new hardware. First of all, remove the casing of the computer, the cover, and locate your memory slots. Now in my case, I don't have any free slots, so I need to remove two 1 GB chips and replace them with the new 2 GB chips. Okay, and now our next step is to remove the graphics card and replace it with a new one. And of course put the cover back on. That's it, job done. And now connect all the wires and you're ready to play your games. Right now I have only spin tires installed on my PC, so I'm just gonna test it quickly. I get 30 frames per second. Yeah, it looks alright. I can play the games now. I hope you liked the video. If it was helpful in any way, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks and bye.